Those are the starting lineup. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, Hachimura out there at Prince, and it's Davis at the center. And for Golden State, they've got Andrew Wiggins. Green is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Curry. And it's Wojcicki in at the two spot. Game one of this great season to come. It's just so great, Clark, to be here with you. How excited are you? No more off-season talk, guys. I mean, finally, we get to play for real. Some games that count. Let's go. Like me, on Christmas morning, I am excited. Here's Reeves. Prince wide open. No good on the triple. Here's Green. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And no wonder Green has been called the heartbeat of his team. He just makes plays that energize the entire roster. And he's got his first chance at the line here. First team foul. At the line for the Dubs. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their star. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. And, and Davis puts it in. On offense, here are the Warriors. Last time they faced off, it was right here at home where they couldn't get it done. And they lost a close one last time they saw each other. And, and you have to think that it was the foul trouble that really kept them from getting the win. When you are in foul trouble, it makes you less aggressive defensively. And when that's the case, it's hard to offer the kind of resistance that you need to. That was in the back of the mind, the foul trouble they were in. Curry on the wing. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Hey, inside Curry has all the tricks. Floaters, scoop shots, fall aways, left hand, right hand. However he has to do it, he will. Now here is Davis. He had 37 points in the win against Utah. Yeah, but the rebounding in that game as well was just tremendous. I mean, he dominated the backboard. Here's Curry following the basket by Anthony Davis. Inside. And Green with the basket on the assist by Kaminga. Green's got five points so far. And it's easy to admire Green. His ability to work through contact is one of the reasons he's so valuable. Now, here is Russell. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Utah Jazz. And don't forget about his assists. His playmaking was as good or better than his scoring. He was in complete control out there. Here's Pajemski. Following the three by the Lakers. Wiggins dishes to Curry. Straight to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Loads it up for Davis and finished off by Davis. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley oop. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. One thing, Greg, you notice about Torian Prince, he can play anywhere against anyone. No one had more success at the foul line last season than this group of players. Third is Stephen Curry. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Golden State moving the ball around. Just five to shoot. Kaminga finds Wiggins. From deep. Lakers with the rebound. Here's Reeves. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. 
Curry against Russell. Green left side. Back to Curry. Can they get it? Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got five. Off a pass, Steph Curry. That one is always going in, or almost always going in. Left side, Davis. Got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. Wow. Last touch by Green. Prince outside. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Coming into the league, scouts predicted Prince would be a solid 3 and D specialist, and they were spot on. Curry looking it over. And the pass to Wiggins. But Trey. And Davis pulls it down. Lakers leading by four. Here's Prince. Green with the block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame. Would lead. Now, Hachimura. He had a 36-point outing in the last game against Utah. Six on the shot clock. Prince, that's for two. Good discipline on defense. Wiggins right on top of it the whole way. And Davis gets it to go. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now here's Curry. He's got five. Wiggins. And he uses the glass on the lane. Able to finish through contact there. Wiggins with the broad shoulders and excellent body control. Nicely done. Here's Russell. Here's Davis. And he converts the layup. Anthony Davis has got 10 points in the game. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Here's Pajemski. Still scoreless. And the shot goes in. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Reeves. Five points in the game. And he gets the bucket. Seven points in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here's Wiggins. They trail by six. To the middle. It's stolen by Davis. Takes the 13-footer. Wiggins with the rebound. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with him. Green the pass to Wiggins. Hachimura against Curry. Back to Wiggins. From past the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Wiggins has got his second bucket of the night. Out of the pick and roll, Wiggins doing a nice job. Staying poised, causing the defender just enough hesitation where he can make his move. Now here is Davis. He's got 10. Back to Russell. Let's the three fly. And his third shot of the night. No good. 0 for 3. Kaminga kicks to Curry. He had dropped for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. From Jonathan Kuminga. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Passes to Reeves. Pass to Hachimura. Lays it up Reeves. off the glass. Mura. And the Lakers lead by three. And the confidence Hachimura has in himself knows he can score from this area when given the chance. You know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset. Both teams deciding to change it up. And with the moment, let's check out some stats for Thompson. He had a strong showing last season. He averaged 22 points a game, four rebounds, and two assists. 
and every team wants a score to give them a lift off the bench, and, and that's just what he brings. Well, he's instant offense. I mean, the game's momentum can be going one way, then bam, the scoring turns the tide. Here's Mays. Pass to Hachimura. Over Sharich. Los Angeles with another miss. Golden State's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Curry on the wing. There's the pass to Moody. Golden State moving it around. And Green slams it in. And this has to fire Green up. Whenever he dunks it like that, it gets the whole team energized. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Maine. There's 154 left in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. Tin Witty for three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now, here's Moody. Nothing on the board. We've got 128 left here in the first quarter. Green, the pass to Thompson. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. And the Warriors lead by one. Here's May, guarded by Kerr. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Los Angeles making a switch here. Windler's checked in. One on I and left in the first quarter. Pass to Jackson Davis. Now, here's Moody. Defense is right there. Thompson way outside, sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Thompson's got six. Yeah, they're six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Here's May. Here's Hayes. The shot comes out. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. And yes, it's good. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Dinwiddie. Not a lot of room. Clock at four. To stop the run. That shot misses. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. From beyond the arc, they've been absolutely tremendous. We've got more in store for you right after this. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Thompson is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Moody. And it's Jackson Davis in at the center position. He gets that one. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now, here is Russell. Scoreless thus far. Here's Davis. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Even when the defense is stellar. Davis still able to score the ball. That's what makes him an elite talent. He can make hard shots look easy. Here's Pajemski. 
Windler with the rebound. Lakers trail by six. Now we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Christie the pass to Windler. And it's blocked. Thompson against Russell. Thompson right side over Hayes. Thompson misses. Los Angeles has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Passes it to Russell from 12 feet out. And that one falls coming off of Davis's Russell. feed. Guys, that was really nice work mixing in this shot. When Russell is squared up and shooting with confidence, which is most of the time, he can bury it. Here's Pajemski. Thompson outside. Pulls it from the elbow. It's rebounded by Hayes. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Here's Moody after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Pass to Pajemski. And players and coaches want a consistent whistle, Clark. Isn't that harder, though, when minor contact can be called a foul? Yeah, it is, Kevin, but I do think the officials do a great job. At the NBA level, there's more latitude for physical contact. These are the best players in the world. They're also the most athletic and the strongest players in the world. So giving them room, and I think the officials do a great job of officiating the game the way it should be. And I understand the cry about consistency, but remember now, the officials, much like the players, coaches, and broadcasters, they too are human. To the paint. Here's Jackson Davis, and it's in there. Jackson Davis has got four points this quarter, and the Lakers call time here. Both teams will make substitutions. And make some noise once again. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for him. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The, the points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustments. When AD gets going like this, it's almost impossible to slow him down. He's got so many different ways to beat you. Here's Pajemski. Pass to Wiggins. Down low. To the left wing. And Davis sends it back. Got to be careful putting up a shot around Anthony Davis. I mean, he's one of the best shot blockers of all time. Here's Reeves. He's got seven. Davis inside. And it's all evened up. Anthony Davis, Davis has got 16. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's Pajemski. And Davis sends it back. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. I love the defensive concentration so far in this one. They're getting out on shooters and really doing a great job of disrupting the rhythm. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. Here is Russell following the basket by Andrew Wiggins, and they pick up two. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Pass to Jackson Davis. Here's Pajemski. 
Now the pass to Kaminga. To the inside. Pajemski's shot is good. Pajemski's got four points this quarter. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. It's Russell with the drive. Prince outside. And it's off from three-point range. Warriors have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. First one falls for him. And the Warriors making a change here. Hachimura heads them both. Warriors trail by three. Here's King Jonas. Launches a three. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Reeves. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Great feed from Davis. A big guy with nice vision. And here's Sharich. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Pass to King Jonas. And here's Looney. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Curry against Russell. Here's Wiggins. Nice form on the 20-foot. Wiggins has got nine points. Lakers leading by three. Now, here is Russell. He's got eight. And here is Hachimura. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Yeah, they're cracking. Absolutely cracking and looking to pad that lead. Now, here's Wiggins. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Utah Jazz. And we have to mention his rebounding. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. Time out, time and the out. dunk by Prince. A oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Inwood has checked in for D'Angelo Russell. And now here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. Second, the Warriors. Their long-range shooting last year was nothing short of spectacular. I mean, they were absolutely unconscious from the three-point line. Dinwiddie against Curry. Wiggins outside. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Curry. Staying alert and aware. Wiggins sees his man flash to an open spot. Passes right on the money. Remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's Dinwiddie. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. The inside game of Stephen Curry. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And, and trailing in this game, now is not the time to start playing conservatively. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely and with confidence. Torian cans it from downtown. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. Charge passes to Wiggins. Now, Looney. Outside Curry. Pass to King Jonas. Lock at six. Takes a three. Offensive rebound. Sharich. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Sharich is a high energy guy and does a nice job positioning to get that offensive rebound. The 11-footer, and Curry pulls it down. Warriors trail by four. Wiggins with it, defended by Dinwiddie.
Wiggins against Dinwiddie. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Pass to Quinones. Wiggins from outside. Reeves with the rebound. I'm not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Prince outside. Off target from outside. Wiggins up top. Dinwiddie covering. And it's Wiggins missing. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Lakers on top. They lead by four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, guys. Torian, what's been the key so far? Ball movement, doing what we got to do defensively, uh, competing, showing effort, and translating into offense. That mix has worked really well so far, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny, and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It was a big-time first quarter from Anthony Davis. He had 16 points, four block shots, and six rebounds. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Well, their success was largely about second chance. They crashed the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, it's been a big night for the guys up the bench so far. The scoring has given them a real spark. I think we're going to expect a few more minutes for the reserves in Houston tonight. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for joining folks. us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. And you know what, guys? I think it starts with having a body on him every time a shot goes up. I mean, they've got to do a better job boxing out. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Checking out the group now for Darvin Ham to start the second half. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Prince out there with Hachimura. And it's Davis in at the center, locking down the middle. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. Russell with it. Loads it up for Davis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Curry. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Davis. Count it and the foul. And it goes on Draymond Green. It has got to be terribly frustrating to deal with Anthony Davis when you're guarding him. I mean, you try to get physical with him. You don't give him a clean look, and he still winds up with the bucket and the foul. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. At his best, Davis is an MVP caliber player. One of the true franchise guys in the league. Outside Curry passes it to Green. And Davis sends it back. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Now Hachimura. He's got six. 
Prince outside. Connects from three-point range. Prince has got the lead up to seven now for Los Angeles. And you know Prince is feeling it when he takes this shot. Love the confidence. At the elbow, it's Wiggins over Prince. And another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Curry with the defensive effort. Warriors have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's Kaminga. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Kaminga's got his second button. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Reeves. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Timeout called the Warriors. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. A moment here to see the numbers for Anthony Davis. Coming off a terrific season. Last season put up about 26 points a game. 12 rebounds and just over two blocks. And after a disappointing season last time around, he's got to feel like he's got a lot to prove. Well, he's got the talent. I mean, he just needs to identify what wasn't working last season and then get busy fixing it. Wiggins from outside. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James last season passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the NBA's all-time leading scorer. LeBron says, that record was never in my head because I've always been a pass-first guy. So it was never a goal of mine. And Kevin, there's perhaps no greater tribute to James's all-around game that he could set that mark without setting his mind to it. Back to you. Well said, D.A., thank you. Now here's Prince. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Russell passes to Davis. You know, Davis is so long and strong inside, he almost forces you to foul. Los Angeles shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And that one falls for Davis. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. And and good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the line. Over to the wing. There's Kaminga. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. And it's Russell with that extra effort. And the Lakers lead by six. You know, guys, whenever Russell attacks second chance opportunities like that, it's a big bonus. Here's Curry. He's got 13. Thompson for three. And another three for Golden State. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Russell passes to Davis. Through the net again. He's done that ten times tonight. And he's only needed 11 shots to get there. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now, here's Curry. Now, here's Kaminga. To the middle, six to shoot. That one good for two. Pajemski's got nine. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. It's stolen by Kaminga. Pass to Pajemski. He kicks it to Kirk for the tie. They get it back. Green. Great D that time from Davis. 
Good offense squaring up against better D there. You gotta appreciate that stop. Anthony, and, and he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Los Angeles leading by five outside Russell. Pass to Davis. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Assisting. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And Green slams it in. Delicious dime from Curry there. One of the reasons his teammates love playing with him. And the Lakers call time here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Take a look here at the numbers for Curry. He's coming off an excellent season. And you look at his three-point field goal percentage. How about top ten in the league? He did not miss often. And just going back to his free throw efficiency. It's about confidence when you're at the line. You've always said it. He had it. That's how he ended up with the top three ranking. The pass to Christie. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Hayes the pass to Prince. Shot clock at six. It's blocked. Here's Jackson Davis. Dinwiddie covering. Pass to Pajemski. A floater. A rebound by the Lakers. And here's Hayes. And he makes that one. Jackson Hayes. Hayes has got the lead up to seven now for the Lakers. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Pass to Pajemski. And he drives in. Count that one. Pajemski's got five points now this quarter. Lakers leading by five. Hayes with it. Pass to Christie. He lobs it up, and Hayes throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Here's Pajemski. 11 points in the game. Pass to Jackson Davis. And that one is hammered home. Davis. I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Now here's Dinwiddie. Guarded closely. The dish to Hayes. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Hayes has got eight. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two. Jump ball. And here is Los Angeles now. Lakers leading by seven. Dinwiddie passes to Christie. With the drive. And the shot goes in. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Here's Pajemski. Five to shoot. He lobs up the alley oop pass. Dinwiddie against Curry. And Dinwiddie with the basket on the assist by Hayes. And it's an 11 point Laker lead. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Golden State's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. 
That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket for Moody. And their outside game has simply evaporated here in the second half. Not a lot of great looks from deep. Dinwiddie kicks to Hachimura. Got a piece of it. Charge outside. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. It's rebounded by Hayes. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Shot and game clock separated by five. Thompson passes to Moody. Releases. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Moody's got his third bucket of the night. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Dan Woody for three. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. A terrific quarter for him. And now he has a total of 27 points. Shouldn't take him long to get up over 30. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Charge is out there with Draymond Green. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Moody. Rudy. And it's Thompson in at the point. Assistant Moving line. it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now here's Thompson. Thompson hammers it down! And the agility from Thompson making an impact. He really just takes off for the dunk. That's to Hachimura. Left side, Davis. Out to Russell. From outside the arc. Tries again. And it's laid in by Davis. Davis has got 13 points here in the second half alone. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Here's Green, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And, and you know Green can get aggressive when he needs to, finding a way around tight defense inside. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Free throw drops for Green. What I appreciate most about Green is his leadership. Strong vocally on and off the floor. Curry against Russell. And he takes that one up and powers it through. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Here's Green. That one is good again. He's six straight from the floor with the basket. And I'm not sure there's a guy who enjoys physical play more than Draymond. Finishing through contact is just part of the job. Oh, wow. Oh, He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Christie. Leaps for it, and the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Prince has checked in for the Lakers. 
Warriors trail by eight. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. The pass to Green. Curry outside. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. Here's Reeves. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. And watching yeah, Steph go to work Russell. is watching a Second living personal. legend. That's good from Stephen Curry. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. And both free throws, good for Curry. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Right side, Russell. And Moody pulls it down. And the activity he shows around the rim it, is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Reeves gets the bucket. Reeves has got six in the quarter. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Curry passes to Kaminga. Fades away. Good work defensively by Hachimura. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. And it's Russell missing. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. The three ball from Curry. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Inside, Prince. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Warriors trail by four. Now Thompson. Outside Curry. It's up a three. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Thompson. Back to Hachimura. Out left to the wing. Russell with a wide open look. And right away, they match it with a three pointer of their own. Guys, you can just about count on it. If you score on Russell, you better believe he's looking to come right back at you. This is it to Kaminga. Now, here's Moody. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Again, Curry missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And it's Prince penetrating. You know, when Prince is aggressive and assertive like that, it really does open up things for his teammates. That free throw, no good. Well, I like the fact that Prince um, does a good job picking his spots. He's not a guy that forces things. Uh, kind of lets the... So he comes up empty at the line. Warriors trail by four. Here's Pajemski. Lays it up and banks it in. I like the fact he had his head up immediately looking to make the dish down the floor. Get rid of it quickly. Outside, Russell. Pass to Prince. Oh, oh. 
Six on the shot clock. Loads it up for Davis. Hammers the alley-oop through. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Curry passes to Moody. Basket counts. Eight points from Moses Moody. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pass to Prince. To the paint. Here's Reeves. My shot's good on the assist by Prince. Reeves has got 21. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. And there's the pass to Kaminga. Good work defensively by Hachimura. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Reeves the pass to Hachimura. Shoots over Curry. It's Prince high post. Shot clock at five. Fires from the corner, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Now it's a six-point Laker lead. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality for you. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis. Well, he completely took over, I think, on both ends of the floor. Scoring with authority and influencing a lot of plays, almost every play. This was the kind of night you dream about as a player. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. Coach is not happy with that three-point battle. He told his team, we're down because they're making more threes than us. We have to defend the line if we're not making them at the other end. Guys? Thank you, David. Green kicks to Curry. Down low. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Kaminga. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind a layup. Come on now. My goodness. Davis. No good that time. Great D that time from Green. Coming to the pass to Curry. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He drops the first one, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Both shots good from the strike. And how big was that? He is just so reliable, so confident at the free throw line. Russell passes to Davis. Great tee that time from Green. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Kaminga kicks to Kerr. To tie it up. Curry through traffic. Count it. Oh. And with a limitless jump shot, the elusive ball handling skills, Curry can get a bucket pretty much whenever he wants. Here's Davis, and the officials three, call him for a three-second violation. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. This possession gives them a chance to take the lead. Yeah, they don't want to let this one slip away. Curry, wide open, and yep, and he dropped it after rolling around the rim. Curry's got 30 points. Yeah, and such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Money! Boys under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. A.D. Here's Pachemski. It's in! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He 
wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Los Angeles calls timeout. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Prince. Good! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Hey, guys, that's exactly why Prince is out there in these moments. Big time shot. Here's Curry. It falls! No question about it. Curry is on fire right now. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trailing by two. 27 seconds left in the fourth. 27 seconds left to play here in the fourth. To the inside. Yes! No question about it. Touch with Anthony Davis. Timeout called the Warriors. Golden State calls timeout. Here's Curry. Jacks up a three. Count it! It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. That was a fun night of basketball. And fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Stefan. How special is it to share your success with your family? That's what it's all about, man. I know you know when your kids get to enjoy uh, the game and the show, and uh, it's fun. So uh, I'm glad I did something good for them in the fourth quarter. <laughs> They'll remember all of it, I'm sure, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Much appreciated, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long.